Hi folks, my name is Carlos Maiolino and I'm a file system engineer at the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Hello, my name is Dan Walsh. I've been, uh, if you didn't know me, I've been a Red Hat for about 15 years now. I used to be known as Mr. SE Linux and now I work on the Docker container team for Red Hat. Hi, my name is Michael Rivnack. I've been a Red Hat for three and a half years and I'm the team lead for the Pulp project where I'm a software engineer. So hi, my name is uh, Michael Prioznik. I work for Red Hat for slightly over top five years now. Um, and for all of the time I've been working on Libbeard. If you come to my talk, uh, I walk you through the Libbeard XML knobs and show you uh, how to enable better performance of your virtual machines. But it's not only about uh, Libbeard XML, it's also uh, about host and guest configuration and, and kernels. If you come to my talk at DevConf 2016, you're gonna learn about how Docker is useful for developers. What I found is very interesting is how Docker can be useful to just one developer, just your laptop, and how it can make your life easier on a daily basis. Uh, so I'll go through a number of examples of concrete ways that Docker's been valuable to me and hopefully give you some ideas of how it will be helpful to you. This year at DevConf, I'm gonna be talking about, uh, the talk I'm giving is called Docker versus SystemD. So the um, the basic idea is, is Docker wants to be a process manager, SystemD wants to be a process manager, and trying to get the two efforts to work together has uh, been sort of my bane of existence for the last year, and I want to cover what we've done. At DevConf 2016, I will be giving a talk about Linux device model. If you come to my talk, you will hear all about Linux device model implementation and how to take advantage of it while implementing your own drivers. I hope that people who attend my talk will leave that with better understanding about how devices are organized inside Linux kernel and how to use it to implement device drivers and also how to exchange information between kernel space and user space using the CSFS file system. At the end of the talk, what I'd like to take out of the out of it is to know when to run different types of containers. So you can run a container with uh, you know, standard processes as PID1, when you would, might want to run systemd inside of a container, and what are the benefits, of, the cost and benefits of, of running both situations, and, and how we can get containers to work well in a systemd environment. What I hope people will take away from my talk are three key skills that are very easy and approachable that you need to use Docker as a developer and the inspiration to go home and put into practice those three skills in all kinds of different problem areas that you have on a regular basis. So I hope people will uh, leave my talk with ability to get uh, the most out of environments that I'm responsible for. So the thing I like about DevConf the most is the ability to meet the people you know from the mailing lists uh, in person. What I'm looking forward to most about my first trip to DevConf is meeting colleagues who I work with on a regular basis, uh, in particular, a new one who just joined the Pulp team. Uh, and of course, I'd like to grow the Pulp community, and I'm looking forward to a talk by my uh, colleague, Ina Panova, on Pulp. And of course, I hope I'll find some time to grab a couple classic Pilsners as well. Okay, this is my, my fourth or fifth DevConf that I've gone to, and, and the best thing about DevConf is just engineering, engineers talking to engineers. It's uh, There's no marketing, there's no uh, fluff in it, it's just you, you get to get uh, real hardcore talk, tech talks, um, and then the interaction between engineers, you know, so you can really network and, and find out what's going on, and you really get to plan your next year's activities. Well, DevConf is a great opportunity to meet developers from several different areas of open source world and also it's a great opportunity to meet people face to face usually those people you actually only meet on IRC or other kind of online communication and why not try to taste some Czech beers I hope to see you guys at DevConf 2016 looking forward to seeing everybody at DevConf I'll see you at DevConf I see you at DevConf.